on Sunday, December, September 22nd, 2024, with me, Lad from the Woods, here at Winterfell Camp. Well, we just got back from a nice ride. You guys will be seeing that video before you. No, I'm good. This goes up right away. So you'll see the video for the ride. We rode, I rode to Hope Town, got some gas, decided to take a longer run. So rode up to a Lammermoor Road, rode all the way down there through the back roads, up to Second Line, then down Second Line down to White Cemetery Road, and then White Cemetery Road back out to the South Levant Road, which eventually gets me back here. So it was a nice little ride. Didn't expect to do it, but I did it. Here we are. So anyways, I uh, I smell smoke. When I was standing inside, I got the fan running pretty high. But there's no campfires that I'm aware of that's, uh, that's running. I mean running, I'm not running a campfire, but what I'm saying is, is you know, uh, there, there it is, there's that smell. Like something's burning. But it's like paper smell. I just caught it. Let me go have a look around here. Just give me right, give me a second, folks. Nope. Must be me. This must be a something else I'm smelling that isn't quite uh, agreeing with me or something. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you there. Anyways, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So, I got a few things I need to put away. And one of them, there it is. There's that smell again. Well, maybe it's the cardboard, but... This is usually like when you, you know when you light a newspaper to start a fire or whatever, it's that smell. That first smell you smell from the paper burning, but there's nothing burning here. Anyway. So, with the rain coming, I got to uh, put away this camera equipment. You won't need this stuff anyways. Uh, this is just the big tripod and all that, which I never use, which I should. It's better than the tripod you're on, but this thing is so big. See, the one you're on, I can carry at the same time, but it's proving to be faulty. I think I'm just going to throw this in the, in the uh, shed for now. Just gonna bring this tarp over because I will cover the table. There's just too much stuff that's gonna get wet, and I don't want it to get wet. So, coffee in a vlog. I got gas for the uh, for the uh, you know the thing here, the weed whipper. Just gonna get this stuff put away. I uh, I really need to do a, just a proper cleanup job on this table is what I need to do. That needs to go inside. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's there's really not much else to say. Uh, tomorrow I got the doctor's appointment still, still as previous, previously mentioned. Um, 
Where's my little garbage? There it is. doctor's appointment and then another one at uh, three o'clock so I got that going on tomorrow but Corinne uh, it, I, I, I sent her a message saying there's no point in you coming because it's just gonna rain uh, I don't know obviously I don't want her working in the rain obviously you know so anyway uh, um, see this stuff here needs to go back into the truck there it is again that smell it's over here now I just keep catching it my mom wouldn't be starting a fire at her place it's weird it must be just me Maybe I'm going to have a stroke, but usually they tell you if you're going to have a stroke, you smell burning hair. As evidenced on, uh, if you ever watch The Sopranos, uh, Carmine Lupertazzi there, the mob godfather for the New York family. He died, I don't know, halfway through the series or something. Anyways, but he's they're all on a golf course and they're eating and he's eating some egg salad or something. Anyways, he's like, whoa, 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 all of a sudden. Then he says he smells, do you guys smell burning hair? Well... That was a stroke happening. So I've read that and heard it a million times. So, yeah. Just seeing the time there. Short. That's how long this this has been sitting here since I came back from. Whoop! Came back from. Uh, from uh, uh, Sabo Beach. It hasn't rained since then. That's 20 some days. So, believe me, I'm not complaining about the rain that's coming. We need it. Ooh, I need a sip of that coffee. Things like this need to start to be picked up. Ooh, good thing I saw that. That's a boat, uh, the boat, uh, what do you call it? The um, uh, base for a new seat for the front when we build the uh, casting deck for the boat, which I just realized I'm gonna have to show that to uh, Corinne and see if she is interested in doing that work or if she can. I suspect she can. Now these have got to go on to keep the rain off the sides. I just realized they've been sitting on the ground since I got back from Sable Beach. really got the mind to go camping somewhere at a oops, what happened here? It's not getting the wind properly. There we go. There it keeps the rain off the sides, which is better. Um, I think I already talked about it. Buying a smaller tent. Financially, well. <laughs> Oh no, even $90 will be a little over $100 with tax. I got glasses to buy. I love this tent. It is really easy to pick up. Like I really don't need this smaller tent. 
But saying that, I look, oh, well, that's, I really can't afford that, but I was looking at one of those tents where you can, uh, you know, you put a little small wood stove. It's got a place to put the pipe to the side of the tent. It's an old A-frame style like we used to camp when we were kids. All right, so she's pretty much rainproof. She won't fill up with water. At least that's the theory. And then, this is the gas I bought today. So this is exactly five liters. So two of those little, uh, what do you call them? The, uh, the little steel two-stroke oil things I bought. Anyway, I'm not going to pre-mix that right now. But I am going to look at what I got to get out of the rain here. Where's my coffee? It's supposed to be coffee in a vlog, right? Coffee. Yeah. That's empty. That doesn't matter. This is garbage. That's yeah, really garbage, this. Can I throw that all the way over there and be good? Landed right in the plastic pool. Okay, this can stay out of the rain. That's my propane. Uh, my propane, you know, connector thing for a 20 pounder. Oh, these old chains, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Those are it's just the original chain for the uh, boat trailer but we put longer ones on okay these can kind of just hang under there lean up fishing rods all the ones i fixed and uh put back together properly for for uh <sighs> my emergency paddle i'm never going to use now it's too small I went and bought a nice wooden one at the uh, Canadian Tire. Anyway, uh, that's garbage. Okay, so everything else here can. It's gonna get wet. It can. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we're good to go now. Oh. I can put this out of the rain. The Scotty Downrigger we never got to use in Lake Huron or uh, Georgian Bay, sorry. I might have cause to use it yet. I've got to get out and get on that. Uh, I got to get out and uh, take this boat to Robertson Lake. I almost went today. And then I thought, you know what? Oh shit, there's a good thing to cover up. The motor, that'd be a good plan, eh? Although it's designed to get wet, I don't want to sit, have it sit in the rain, obviously. So, I ordered some stable for the gas because uh, um, hang on. Uh, can't get premium gas anymore without uh, ethanol here in Canada. We used to be able to get it. Ooh, what's that? So, uh, oh, you're over here. So I'm gonna put stable in everything from now on. I'm still using sea foam. And what else did I buy? Something else. Oh, I finally bought a proper two-stroke oil measure. I saw a guy using one, I was, I was watching a guy at some camp somewhere and he was using a um he was working on an old motor but he was using this you know it's like about this big it's about that big around it's a you know a jar that's got all the different measurements and everything on it i thought you know i've been eyeballing it and doing it half-assed all this time and i really should just have a proper measurement because
because obviously this motor needs proper mix and uh, so does the uh, so does the um, weed whipper and whatever else I got going on at any given time okay well the boat is ready first time the floor is going to get water uh, rain on it but she's painted so that's should just roll right off <laughs> but it still needs another another coat definitely wants another coat so there we are this is my vlog it's 15 minutes there's not much else to say we're just talking for nothing as usual which seems to be something with me right okay i think i'm happy except for the tarp it's going to go on then i'm going to go inside for the evening there's nothing else that needs to come in God, it'd be nice to sleep in that tent tonight and just wake up to the rain dripping, but I have to get all that stuff out and I don't really feel like it, so. Anyway, all right, let's 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 call this uh, copy and B-Log for Sunday, to September 22nd. Oh, what's going on here? Did I run out already? She might need a charge. I've noticed with this, you've got to charge it at least once before you use it all. Now I've been hauling on it pretty steady here. So, okay, we're inside. So this is where we're going to end this. I got my cat seemed disturbed that I left and I'm like, I'm not liking that to be honest. It's like, okay, enough. All right, so please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, all the usual stuff if you want to help support the channel cats whatever to camp uh, there's links down in the description for um, pass passport paypal.com uh, slash lad from the woods and buy me a copy slash dot com slash from the woods sorry I'm just like I uh, I'm kind of buzzing from the ride I didn't smoke or anything when I went riding obviously uh, um, not that I haven't done it but Anyway, I got a little buzz off that ride. So anyways, let's call it. Like I said, I keep saying it, okay?